Hi, I'm Skill Singh and on this channel, I help you build accessible web applications, cover data science concepts and share awesome UI and ADA tips and tricks. In today's video, we will make radio buttons, hyperlinks and images ADA compliant. If you are new to this channel, then consider subscribing and smash that like button. This will help more people to see this video and develop ADA compliant web applications. First are the radio buttons that are used to help users make a selection normally between two options. A key thing to note here is that only one radio button in a group can be selected at the same time. Here are the ADA recommendations. First, when form mode is on, user should be able to select an option using up, down, left and right keyboard keys. Second, when form mode is off, user should be able to select using A and shift plus A to move the focus and then pressing enter or spacebar key to make a selection. And last, a screen reader should read the label of the radio button group, then the radio text followed by a button, then specify its state checked or unchecked, then the count 1 of 2 or 2 of 2. Now let's jump into our code and make these radio buttons ADA compliant. Okay, let's add a div. I'll give bootstrap class column extra small 12 to occupy 100% of the space. Within this div, let's add an input whose type should be radio. And then let's, oh, let's add an ID to it. I'll say ID equals to radio mail. And then let's add a label. We should have a for attribute to link this label with this radio button. And this label we can say mail. All right. Now let's copy this, these two tags, and have it for the female radio button. We'll say fee mail. I'll copy this one or the label and rename this to female. Okay. Now we have two radio buttons. When I select male, it's getting selected. And when I select female, it's also getting selected. But if you notice, both, of, both the radio buttons got selected, which we don't want. What we can do is we can add an attribute called name. We can say sex radio button. And we need to copy this entire attribute starting from the name till this one. This way we are grouping these radio buttons. Now when we refresh, if I click on male, I'm able to select it. And when I select female, it unselects female male first and then selects the female. There are some alignment issues, so let's remove this class. It will remove the spacing from the left side. Now let's see how we can make these radio buttons ADA compliant. First, we need to add a label that should have an ID. We can say LBL sex section. Okay. And within this label, we can say select your sex. Let's add a break to move the radio button in the next line. Next, for this div, right, we need to add a role and we can add role as radio group, which means this entire div section is having radio buttons and we are grouping them within one. Next, we need to add area labeled by equals to this should be the id of the label so i'll copy this id i'll put it here now when a user is tabbing through the forms and reach this point jaws will read select your sex female radio button checked one of two 
and when you 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 can change the selection using up or down keys in that case it will read made radio button checked one of two one of two or two of two is actually the jaws functionality that's the inbuilt feature and that's coming because we added a role radio group and then we'll add a grouping for these radio buttons using name now a user can access these radio buttons using up down left or right arrow keys when the jaws is running second they can access these radio buttons using hot keys like a to move to the next radio button or shift a to move to the previous radio button next we have images that can be used for a logo user profiles and product visuals my recommendation is to follow these ada checklist first images should not be tabbable unless they are used to navigate user to another page commonly seen with logos second images should pass 5.05 colon 1 contrast ratio test and last images should have a meaningful alternate text for a screen reader user now let's get back to our code to make images ada compliant let's add an image to our side section we will replace i'm a side with an image instead of paragraph tag let's add an image an image required the source so to add an image i added one acid folder within that acid folder i have my avatar so we'll be using the same we have to come one folder out look for assets and then avatar and that's it we have our image but the image size is too big so let's go back to our css and then let's add an image style here so i'll say image I'll say max width fifty pixels. That's too uh, too small, right? Let's increase it two hundred pixels or hundred fifty. That's one way of doing it. But let's since we are using Bootstrap framework, I'll go back. I'll remove this image tag from here. I'll go back to my HTML and add a class. I'll say image responsive. What it does is it adjusts the size of the image as per the allotted size of this div section. Now, as we keep increasing the size, let's give five here. It will obviously move my text to the next line because I'm having I gave nine, and it should be a combination of three, a total of twelve columns. This is just for the demo purpose. If I keep increasing the size of this div. the size of the image inside will also keep increasing because we are using a class image responsive now let's get move it back to 3 the original state okay now we have our image which is having class image responsive and then we have our source link to it to make it ada compliant we need to have an alt text and this alt text should be a very meaningful copy text which a screen reader user can understand so let's give an a copy text we can say an avatar of a sick man wearing a brown turban now every time a user is using jaws screen reader while they are using up down arrow keys and when they reach this image it will read an avatar of a sick man wearing a brown turban graphic graphic keyword is actually read by jaws itself that's the inbuilt functionality earlier alt attribute was used only in case a user is having slow connection but with ada being required it plays a very important role for every image to have a meaningful copy text This alt attribute serves two purposes. One, when the internet connection is slow, it displays this copy text instead of 
loading the image. Second, it reads out a meaningful copy text to a JAWS user. Now let's quickly go back to our CSS and make this image in a circle format. We'll, go here. we'll say image and then we we'll can say border radius 50%. Voila, we have our image which is circular in shape. We have hyperlinks commonly used to navigate the user to another page and sometimes to a different section on the same page. Links can be further categorized into internal and external. Internal links are the ones that open up a page within the same browser tab. Whereas external links open up a page in either a new window or a new tab. Here are the ADA recommendations. First, all hyperlinks should be tabable. Second, external links should have a visual clue and a copy text for screen reader users. Let's see how we can make links or hyperlinks ADA compliant. Let's add a hyperlink under this image tag. We can say which is an anchor tag and then we can have href. For now, let's keep it as hash and then let's close this and we can say edit your picture now we can center so this image and this text is not center aligned so let's add a bootstrap class we can say text center see it moved my text to the center of this image to have it in the same line let's slightly modify this bootstrap classes and i'll give column 4 to this one see it increased the size of my image and have this edit your picture in the same line now there are two kinds of hyperlinks in our application first which stays within the same page if you click on this link it stays on the same page it does not take users to a new tab or does not open a new window the second category is where you have to open up a new page or take user to a new tab let's see how an external hyperlink is let's go back to this section and immediately before this buttons which are cancel and save buttons let's add within this row let's add a div i'll say div class column x small 12 to give 100 percent and then let's add a hyperlink i'll say href uh, yeah, it can be anything but for now we can say hash and then it can say i have read terms and conditions and this is the link which will take our user to a new tab okay now how we can achieve this there are two things we can do one is the visual display of an icon which helps user understand that clicking on this link will take user to a new tab and second for the JAWS users or the screen reader users. Let's see how we can do it. Let's add an icon first. To add an icon, I'll be using a font awesome library. So let's go here. We go to CDN font awesome. Now let's refer to this CDN in our code. I'll copy. We need a min file so let's add this tag let's go back to our code and then immediately after bootstrap class let's add this we also need one more file so which is our all min.css which includes all the css mini in the minified version let's copy this come back here i'll save this now to add an icon let's go back and look for the the icon that we are that signifies that it takes users to an external link. Let's copy this tag, come back to our code. Let's go back to the statement that we added. Let's add a full stop and then I'll copy paste the icon. Nice. We have the icon which signifies that it takes users to an external tab or opens up a new window. Next is to add an alternate text 
which can be read by the jaws readers so immediately after this let's add a span and i'll add a class will say screen reader only so sr stands for screen reader and within this we can say opens in a new window now whenever jaws or the screen reader is running and the user starts tabbing and reaches this point it it will the jaws will read i have read terms and conditions opens in a new tab link all right in this video we made radio buttons hyperlinks and images ada compliant please let me know in the comment section below which part helped you the most see you in the next video till then keep coding please like share and subscribe to this channel when you find it helpful